What's up, how's it going everybody? Uh, Dakota here. I just wanted to make a quick video doing a mini review slash promotion of this man's uh, new single, This Town. Niall Horan, um, I don't know if, if this was announced or not just because I haven't been as uh, intertwined with social media lately as I, as I used to be. But uh, last I understood, Niall was just spending his time um, golfing and songwriting for other people while One Direction is on their uh, hiatus. And uh, a song popped up a few days ago titled This Town. It got on a symbol, which is that app I've been talking to you guys about um, for a few months, which is basically Instagram for songs. It's really cool. Um, but I got on and someone posted, you know, This Town by Niall Horn. And I was like, oh, whoa. And I was like, oh, wait, this is probably just like a, maybe like a cover of a song or like something that he did live that somebody bootlegged, so it may not be official, it may not be good, um, but it's a, it's a single. Even um, Spotify's Instagram account, um, which I don't follow, but you know, Instagram has ads within your feed now, Spotify was um, showcasing uh, Niall's song and promoting it about a day or so before it dropped, and um, the live version of it that's done on his Vivo account on YouTube um, the microphone that he's recording on says Capitol Records, so if Niall's signed to them, it totally missed me. Um, I guess he, you know, Liam brought him over, they jumped ship over to Capitol Records. Anywho, the song is, um, it's an acoustic ballad, it's really good, it is uh, a song, you know, Niall talking about um, how the things he's done in this town with this girl, um, he really, you know, can't escape them. It's a really catchy song, you know, you know, when Niall sings it's so hard at the end of several lines, the way his his voice just kind of sings that note and flutters down, uh, is it's just really pretty. And uh, the songwriting itself, like the way it's composed with chords and, um, you know, some of the, the choices on here, kind of remind me uh, of, of stuff that we'd get, like, from Matchbox 20, not necessarily like their their albums, but they did a concert that was acoustic, and you know the way they sounded acoustic kind of reminds me of this song here. But it does have that uh, just that late '90s, um, you know, rock ballad kind of thing going on with the Matchbox 20 influence, kind of like Oasis kind of influence. I mean, it sounds really good, and it surprises me that Niall sounds this good solo because Niall's voice. I mean, it's it's incredible to see the growth um, from the past six years because I, I think. 1D fan or not 1D fan, I think we all can admit, um, if we've heard some of those early, early tracks from those first couple albums, Niall's voice was uh, pretty unpolished and, uh, and and just passable, but now it is actually pleasant, it has character, and um, he's grown and has evolved, and um, it, it sounds really good. I'm excited to hear what's to come. Uh, man, that line, yesterday I... I thought I saw your shadow running around. Not really anything too groundbreaking, but I just like that line. If you saw someone's shadow running around, it was probably mine, because I'm looking for your album that's going to drop here, hopefully. So, um, But overall, on the single, guys, I am feeling an A-, minus, a rare, uh, unprecedented rating. Well, not unprecedented, but a rare rating for me. But this song is dang good if, if the whole album uh, has, has this kind of quality. If there is an album, <laughs> I'm getting my hopes up. Uh, then I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's to come for Niall. Hopefully we can get some more out of him within the next uh, next few months. But yeah, that's it, guys. Niall Horan, This Town. Go check it out. It's on Spotify. Uh, give it a listen on YouTube. Uh, all that fun stuff. Thank you guys for watching.